All right, so if you haven't watched the Ponca City vlog yet, make sure you do that because while I was in Ponca City, I went ahead and went to Stillwater um, since they're only 50 minutes away from each other. Uh, so this vlog is all about the things in Stillwater. I'm now headed to Stillwater, 50 minutes south of Ponca City. Um, when I get to my destination, I'm headed to a history museum and then I'm gonna go over uh, two things that um, I'm not going to do and I'll explain why. So 50 minute drive and I'll be there. Just arrived at the Sharar Museum of History in Stillwater. So there are two things that I am not going to do because after I doing more research, it is more of a little kid thing. So one is Lost Creek Safari. I thought it was like a drive through kind of zoo thing. No, it is a petting zoo. Um, and they are actually closed right now. They're closed up until March. But even if they were open, I probably wouldn't go to see it because it's more for kids and have someone like me just to sing a girl like, oh, let me go pet. Like, I don't know. Like, it would be better if I had my niece and nephew, but to go by myself, I, I wouldn't have done it. And then also, Oklahoma Wondertorium. I thought it was a science museum. I was wrong. It is a kids museum. Very hands-on. A lot of people talk about it. So if you're interested in that, I could not find the price of it. So sorry, I can't help with that. Um, also, there's a botanic garden here that is obviously closed because it's the winter time. So I'm here at the museum, history museum just to see the history of Stillwater. Uh, it's free, so why not? And then I'm going to go buy a huge statue of something. I'm super excited to show you. And then also Oklahoma State University is here. I literally just drove through it and it's really like to have the camera and to like to focus is, but while driving is not a good idea. So, <laughs> so that is what I'm here in Stillwater to do. I think there's a mall. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. This is a really chill area. Um, I booked a hotel for here tonight. Um, and then I think, you know, after I do this, you know, I'll see what I'll do next. History Museum. The lady uh, working there was super sweet, gave all sorts of history uh, information. So Stillwater, they say a lot of Indians lived here. That's not true. They passed through like constantly, but they never settled here. It was actually the Americans that settled here. Um, a bandwagon of like people were coming through and there was a couple that was like, you know what, we're going to start right here. So it was really interesting. And all the as you saw, like all the little areas, the, a parlor and all those old, old like refrigerators and curling irons. That was really cool. I laughed when I saw the old iPhone 4. I'm like, I can't believe that's a history thing, but it really is. We're now up to iPhone 12. Yeah, almost 13. So goodness gracious. So I was wrong. The Botanic Gardens is open, but she said, obviously, you know, there's not going to be beautiful, you know, plants because it's winter time but she did say that there were sculptures there said you know i know it's kind of windy outside but if you just want to go by um so i'm gonna get a coffee real quick and then she also told me about main street to go down 
Um, they're just really neat um, historic buildings down there. So I'm going to get a grab a coffee and then go by the Botanic Gardens. And then there is a Bumblebee Transformer. Huge statue of it. I'm going to go buy that too. Tried this place called Aspen Coffee. Love it. The girls there that work there are super sweet. I said, what's your favorite? She's like, I'm obsessed with this with this concoction I came up with. She's like, it's brown sugar with cinnamon. I was like, I'm all for it. It's the bomb. And it's not super hot. Like, I'm not burning my tongue. Highly recommend this place. It will be in the description below. The Bumblebee Transformer. I did not realize this is in front of a body shop. Oh well, pretty cool. So I'm personally not gonna get out here at the Botanic Garden. But as you can see, like they have a, some fencing areas that they have for gardens, some walkways that are really pretty. And I'm sure during the summer, spring time, it is gorgeous. But right now, it's not really worth walking in the cold to be quite honest. They've, do, they've got a lot of play things for kids to like climb on and hold on I will drive by they have this um not a jungle gym but like a little tree house hold on this little jungle gym it's pretty cool so if you ever want to you know break from the car or something to do this would be something to do I also found out they have a wrestling hall of fame by Oklahoma State University so if you're interested in that uh, the lady at the history museum didn't really tell me if it was free or if they charge anything. Um, I'm not into wrestling, so that's not my thing. And they also have an art museum. Again, art, a bunch of paintings. That's not really my thing, but <laughs> I'm sorry. So those two other things, if you're interested in that, I know the art museum is free, but I'm not sure about the wrestling hall of fame. Hi, <laughs> y'all. It's only five o'clock. That's it. I've already finished everything here in Stillwater. And then obviously I finished everything in Ponca City. So I booked my hotel for here in Stillwater. So I wasn't sure how long everything was gonna take me. So now I just get to chill out in my hotel room. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this. They have a fitness center that's open and a p indoor pool that's open. I called because I wanted to make sure before I brought stuff to swim. So I'm super excited. Oh, I get to sleep in. I'm gonna I might do Oklahoma City tomorrow. I haven't totally figured it out yet, but super excited. Um, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do about dinner either. So I'll kind of wait and see. I'm gonna go get checked in, get my room and just relax. Okay, I just checked into my room and I'm already impressed. I signed up to become a Marriott Rewards member because after doing a lot of research and watching my favorite vloggers, Kara and Nate, um, they, uh, stay in a lot of Marriott's, but after doing research, I decided to sign up and I have to say, oh, this is the best thing ever. Let me show y'all. Walk in and look at this beautiful couch, this beautiful kitchen, little dining table, this huge TV that turns, look at this beautiful bed. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Now, I am in love. I just want to stay here forever. Is that okay? I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. There's a pool. I'm so glad I checked in early. Well, not technically early, but came here earlier. Usually I'm not here till like 9, 10 o'clock at night, but this going to enjoy every bit of this. So there's the fitness center, which I just finished working out. And here's the pool. Pretty nice size. Okay, I'm headed to get dinner. I decided that I really wanted it. And I saw a sign earlier today about these noodles and I'm like, I really want Chinese. So I'm headed there and the pool was nice. It was nice to just relax. And it was warm temperature, like room temperature. So that wasn't bad at all. So I had to wait an extra 10 minutes for my food. I'm hoping this is good. Ladna. And I, my favorite people I love to watch on YouTube, they, they were in Vietnam and they were always showing us. This does not look like mango sticky rice. 
Oh, uh, we'll see. Okay. It was good. I mean, not like bad and not like, oh, that was wonderful. We're talking average. So, um, I might put the link in the comments below. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> um, but the name of it was Golden Dragon. Uh, yeah, Golden Dragon. So, now I'm just going to chill the rest of the night. Kind of see what I'm going to do tomorrow. And then go to bed. So, I hope y'all enjoyed today. Yeah, a lot more fun than I was expecting. So, good morning. I did not sleep the greatest, unfortunately, but... I am used to at home sleeping on a like, um, oh my gosh, a foam topper and a foam mattress. And I've really got to get over that, especially as I travel more. Like, I'm not always going to have that. And the bed was just firm for me. So I really struggled. But oh well, <laughs> it's just one night. So. But they did, so I went and got um, some breakfast and they told me it was gonna be a grab and go. But look at this, like it comes with a sausage, egg and cheese. And then I get a muffin. They had a uh, bran muffins and I'm like, no. And they had some milk and cereal and coffee. So pretty good for a, for a grab and go breakfast. I'm about to leave this wonderful hotel. So I wanted to give it a review. I give it a nine and the reason being um, the walls are really thin. I could hear a lot of people last night and it was really bugging me and then personal preference I thought the mattress was too firm but other than that everything is great like I was surprised with the breakfast and just the size of the room I mean oh I loved it. This is like what I want my future like studio apartment to look like. Like I like this size just for me. So um, I will put the link for this uh, hotel in the bottom below. But I also had to say I did spend a little bit more. There are cheaper hotels here. But when I read reviews and I see that the bed was super uncomfortable, that automatically turns me off. I'm like, no, I don't want to go there. So... I know I'm gonna have to get over that as I continue to travel. So, but for now, I really enjoyed this. And I also joined, excuse me, Marriott Rewards. Um, I heard that one is the that is one of the best reward systems. So, especially as I travel more, I definitely want to, you know, earn points. Other than that, I do use Booking. Booking is a great, great tool to use. So, those are the two things I use. And then this room was $75 a night. That's not bad, but like I said, there are cheaper ones. Goodbye, residents, and thank you. Off to Oklahoma City.